It's been a month since uh, Scott and I went down to Martin Head on an ATV camping trip. I can't believe the time's going so fast. It's October 1st now and uh, I haven't been anywhere since Martin Head but I'm going out tomorrow hopefully out, uh, out on the Nash Walk again this time and we're going to visit a relic of New Brunswick's log driving past. I hope I can get out there. I'm hoping to go to Irving Dam and camp out there overnight and uh, look over the dam and the surrounding area there, do a little bit of exploring maybe, and maybe a little bit of partridge hunting. It's the uh, first day of partridge season today. I'm ready to go on another trip out to Irving's Dam this time and maybe a little partridge hunting. I've got my shotgun with me. I've got, well, all my usual gear. <laughs> so we'll get on. The fall colors are really coming out there now. Another week they'll be right at their peak. Okay, we're coming out to the Dorn Ridge Road here now. So we get down this way and I'm then I'm going to swing right on a trail and go over to the Crow Hill Road. good fishing hole. Nice little beaver dam anyway. the Crow Hill Road. Oh, and there's uh, white-tailed deer. of a hurry to get off the road. I wonder if there's any more there.
road right there goes over to Little or Lower Nashwalk Lake. Perhaps we'll go over there a little later. I think I'll go back that way anyway. Kind of rough through here. that bad of a trail for a wheeler it's just with all my camping gear on it makes me a little bit top heavy I have to be a little careful plus I don't want everything to shift around and then I have to stop and repack it Irving Dam and I'm at my camping spot. Just gotta find a place to camp here. Time to coffee break. I haven't even had a coffee today. Sit and have my coffee. And then maybe I'll go get some wood. We'll see. I need to fly the drone. Do a little hunting. It'd be kind of nice to have a partridge for supper. I've got a couple of hamburgs, so they're just good. But I 
do like partridge. sat around long enough. I better be getting some wood. It's supposed to get quite cool tonight. Maybe not frost, but you never know out here. So, I see an old dead tree over there. I think I'll cut that down and manufacture that. That should give me enough wood and then once I'm in the tent, I've got my little tent heater there. So, I should be alright, but I'd like to have enough wood for, for a nice campfire tonight. So we'll get at it. I'm not used to working for a living, working to keep warm. Anyway, this is part of the fun. Now, I've just got to manufacture all that, and that'll be enough firewood for me. I won't have a fire probably till sunset, and I'll be in the tent not too long after that. Anyway.
All right, it's about time we explored the, the other end of this dam. Should be able to get down there okay. We'll have a look over on the other side. There's an old rickety ladder here. I don't know how good that is, but it should be able to clamber down. I'm not that old yet. All right. I'm down on the lower part of the dam here now. Thought I'd investigate. It's sloped here, as you can see. I don't know if this is where they they uh, wash the logs down over, or how they exactly they did this. I suppose they pinned them up in the head pond and then sluiced them down through here, and then maybe let the rest of the water out to help them down the stream. That's my guess. I wasn't around at the time. So this is sort of the end wall here. They just put this here for people to put graffiti on, I guess. This is thick old steel. Looks like half inch. That'll be here for a long time. I'm assuming that these are gates of some sort and they'd let the logs through here and they'd glide down over that concrete part there and on down the river. And they probably had this backed up clear up into Nashwalk Lake, I would guess. There's not that much of a drop between here and the lake. <clears throat> I think there's probably a path up. There's another haul road up here. Well, there's a path right there. I think probably, looks like a wheeler trail actually. Yeah, there's been wheelers through here. So that will go on up through to the haul road that runs down the other side of the Nash Walk. Yeah. And they've They've actually drove right down to the brook there, probably crossed it. I would guess they, yeah, they could cross right there in low water, right down there, and up the other side, and keep right on going. I'm not going to do that, because I really don't have much interest in going up through here today. But it's good to know. You never know when you might need to do that. The road might wash out on this, on the other side. Of course, if it did that, it'd probably mean that the, the river was high and you couldn't cross it anyway. It gets quite high here. I've seen it when she's just roaring down through here, but it's, it's at fall levels right now, very low. You'd have no trouble crossing it there. Right down there in the swift. Kind of an interesting artifact from the log driving era. At one time, the only way they would have been able to get the logs out of here, out of the backwoods, would be through the streams in the spring when there was high water. And they dam up the small streams and then let the dam go and run the logs down through and get into a, a river like the Nashwalk here. And in the spring, this is quite a torrent down through here. You'd never know it right now. You'd almost cross it without getting your feet wet right down there. 
But in the spring, she is uh, she's a wild stream. So they they bring the logs down this far, and then let them out through here. And down they go, down through the century, or the century before, there was a there was a mill in Mary's Bull, right almost to the mouth, right next to Fredericton. And they'd bring them down to there. That air is long gone. Just as well, it's environmentally poor bad for the streams to run logs down through and the roads are good now, so they don't have to do that. But this was such a big piece of construction here. When they were taking out all these barriers to salmon, uh, they took out the Barker Dam up above Gorby Gulch. But this one, they figured there wasn't enough of an obstruction and there's no problem with fish getting up through there. In fact, in the spring, they'll go through all four gates here, no problem. And to blow it out of here would be more trouble than it's worth really. The only danger is uh, people like me playing around on it and falling off and killing ourselves, but I mean that's There's a loon or something, probably a loon up there. Looks like a loon. <laughs> yep. Wish I had a telescopic lens. Be fun to it would be fun to video that guy. Yeah, he's a loon. There he goes fishing. One last fish for me to catch next year. Oh well, they've got a they've got to earn a living too. Okay, we'll take a little drive over to Nashwalk Lake. Lower Nashwalk Lake. And maybe even get a partridge. Who knows? Maybe even pick up a little bit more wood. Look, in the afternoon, uh, Sun goes down at around seven o'clock, I believe. So I've got three hours. If my math skills haven't failed me. So I think I'll this shouldn't take any more than probably an hour. To go over to the lake and back. And then I can come back and cook supper. Spend a nice evening around the fire. I forgot to bring my saw. Would have been nice to cut that piece of birch right there. I guess it's still a little green. A little bit of hardwood for the fire. That stuff I've got probably will burn quite fast. what this was was the uh, Grand John Road and it carried on like it starts up on the Fred Fredericksburg Road or whatever that's called the Nashwalk Road and comes down there's a bunch of camps up there and then it crosses the Hall Road there and comes down through here or that's what I understand from looking at the maps all the new 
modern haul roads have kind of put these roads into disrepair. They're traveled by four wheelers mostly. But uh, it's like the, the log drive is a thing of the past and so are a lot of these old roads that they used to lumber on. They need big haul roads now for the because they're using tractor trailers to haul the logs out with. So they need a big road with ditches and the whole works. But it's fun traveling these old roads and the wheelers keep them open I guess. If you don't travel them they soon they soon grow up. You can't tell there's been a road there. Oh, there's the lake. There's a bridge up here. I don't know how good it is. They're traveling the road, so the bridge must be okay. The last time I was across it, it wasn't much, but oh yeah, it's not too bad there now. It looks like they've done some repair work on it. Yeah, just like Trans Canada there now. The last time I was across it, it was uh, it was partly underwater and a little shaky, but I crossed it anyway. Camps up here. Oh, security cameras in use. Hopefully that helps them. Cause nothing worse than building that building a place out out here and then someone coming and tearing it all to pieces. Be a beautiful spot to have a camp. And that is Lower Nashwalk Lake right there. There goes a duck of some sort or loon or fly my drone. Maybe I will.
though she's a fine piece of bridge work. Whoa. Kinda iffy really. Needs new logs on it. Got everything lined up for the evening. Got my wood all ready there. I'm just going to sit out on the dam here and maybe if I'm lucky, a moose or a deer will cross or a bobcat or something. It's a nice spot to sit anyway.
It's been not a great camp here, but I want to get out of here before it starts to rain, I think. We'll all pack up and maybe do a little bit of exploring. We'll see. Well, that's me all cleaned up, ready to go. Sight's all cleaned up.